Okay, this is the second half of the video about installing the radio. I already show you guys what type of adapter you guys need to buy to be able to uh, make the USB that is uh, stock USB to work with the radio. To getting the auxiliary work with the radio, you guys need to buy one of these adapter. I put the description for it on the video. This adapter has a Merlock connector in this side and the other end of it as you can see uh, it does have a RCA it has a pair, two pair of it that I already took one pair out and I used them I show you how what you guys are supposed to do you can take push the pins out that's going to be very easy if you take buying one of this you can see how this thing does work you get a pair of this you take the wire from uh, with the mail locks don't cut it up just push it it's gonna come out you have to put the screwdriver right in here push the notch out and then you can pull them out then you are gonna end up with the four more locks connector the one is gonna be the one one gonna be red wire white wire and two black wire you just need three wire red white and one of the black one you can discard the other black you bring it on and on the radio side of the connector the 20 pin connector the 20 pin connector that it came with the radio let me just get this thing off this one it used to have only let me see this it, this one has used to have only three wire just in the top those three wire was controller for the stirring that you can control your wire i add three more wires it means i insert those mailbox connector in a bottom part so i'm going to show you guys how this thing does work i'm going to hold it somehow that the stop the three wire the uh, mailbox connector that it came with the radio is the top one and the three bottom one the same order that they are right now the middle one is going to be the ground and the left is for the uh, left input and the right is for the right input if you're putting them backward that's going to be big deal you can just switching them up with a connector that so the other end of this wire is going to be the rca that is going to be right in here for instance this is another pair. so i connect them to the left and right of the in as you can see auxiliary left and auxiliary right right in here if you connect those two wire wrong you can just switch these two out when you're doing it this way then after you put everything back together you are going to be having the auxiliary connected to your system too so it means if you have anything for instance ipod you want to connect the headphone of the ipod to this point and then uh, play with uh, your radio you can doing that so that was the whole story about that so pay attention this is a 20 pin the radio side 20 pin i'm holding it the way that i actually if you can see is one of the black one is already out that i never used them as i said it has a two of this item so i insert the other three mailbox connector in this uh 20 pin take them in a little more closer that they can see i'm gonna hold it the way that the three that it came with a connector showing in the top and the bottom one is going to be the three that i uh, insert them actually if you want to look at them correctly the way that they put them in they count the pin uh, the way that is going to be the pin number uh, six seven eight it used to be occupied i add i do believe number uh, 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 in a top look at them well is the one that you have to add and then when you plug them in then both end this end and the other end then your auxiliary is going to work too that's all that i was going also to i add another wire right in here for the front camera and i connect them to the video in that i do have so every time that i turn on the vehicle and i put them on the video in i can see the picture right in here too that's all